On today's show, we have a great story about how a local organization's recent gift will continue to enhance a successful program. Plus, summer is a great time to build relationships with coworkers. An Institute Day was exciting. See highlights and segments from our speakers from this exciting day. All this and more is coming up. Stick around. Hi, thanks for joining us today for Inside Tuscaloosa City Schools. I'm Eddie McClinton. Well, we have beautiful facilities in this school system. Over the past few months, Oakdale Elementary School has undergone major additions and renovations. Superintendent Dr. Mike Daria talks about this new facility. Today we just did a preliminary tour of Oakdale Elementary School. Uh, this school um, went through a major renovation. So we went through the renovation and the new parts that have been added to the building. Um, we're ready to move in. This building um, received an expansion to the cafeteria. It also re received additional classrooms, up to and including a storm shelter, and then major renovation to the rest of the building. Um, all of our classrooms are now equipped for all of the technology upgrades that we'll have in all of our classrooms throughout the district. Um, so a basic overhaul of the entire building. We're excited to move in and we're excited for the first day. Um, now it's move in and our teachers getting prepared in their classrooms so that they'll be ready on that first day. Um, even after the building is done and school starts, we'll still have to make some small adjustments and um, some corrections to the building, but that's normal on any renovation and construction project. Well, the storm shelter uh, is important. It's, it's important that safety is a priority of ours, and when we go through our facilities project that we have here, um, we want to make sure where possible that we're able to add storm shelters for our schools. That's not the case for every one of our projects, but for this one we were able to do it so that we would have a storm shelter um, for the students and the staff here at Oakdale Elementary School. We want them to share the excitement that we have for this building. Um, our students deserve the best and what you see here is the best. Um, these are incredible facilities here at Oakdale and certainly our other schools that we're working on throughout the district. Um, they'll have the best in technology, they'll have the best in facilities, and they already have the best teachers. And now it's just time to put it all together so that we can progress our school system and each and every one of our students. We will have our teachers in as early as tomorrow. Uh, the boxes, as you see, they're here, and it's just a matter of our teachers coming in and op opening up and getting their rooms ready, which they're eager to do. This is a beautiful facility, and we're excited for the first day. Well, in the Tuscaloosa City Schools, we're excited about our teachers and their ability to lead our students to success. Some of our new teachers have lofty goals for their first year in TCS. My goals this year are def definitely um, organization, like I want them to be more organized, collaboration, I want them to be able to learn how to work with everyone, not just who they're comfortable working with and learning, not just mastering the standards or mastering the skills that we have to accomplish for the state standards, but also growing as people. My goal this year for my classroom is to build a community where everybody feels comfortable, where everybody has a place, and just to challenge my kids and to have high expectations, because when you have high expectations, the kids are gonna reach them. My goals for students would be to um, come into the classroom and feel safe and um, excited to learn uh, physics and environmental science, that's the subject that I'll be teaching. I want them to know that science, after all, is not hard. Um, you know, science can be fun and um, entertaining as well, so that's what my major goal would be. My goal for my students is just to help them be proficient in both reading and math. Those are really important subjects. And just to become lifelong learners, to make sure, you know, they enjoy the education, they enjoy my classroom, and they just enjoy learning and just continue to do that, not just, you know, being in third grade, but many years after that. My expectations for my students are very high. What I love to see them do is begin to complain and then start meeting those expectations. So what I want to see is complainers go to lovers of learning. I want history to be an outside the box subject. I don't want you to think of this as a boring subject, but I want you to put yourself inside of, of the various lessons that we're going to teach, whether it's civics or whether it's geography, U.S., world history. I want you to be an alternative thinker and I want you to have fun doing it. Well, 
A few days before the start of the school year, University Place Elementary School staff participated in a team building activity and the fruits of their labor will be used to bring some smiles to children at Christmas. Today our faculty is participating in a charity team building activity where they're actually building bikes that will be donated to charity. It really combines our two philosophies of STEAM education and the seven habits. Tuscaloosa City Schools underwent some changes with the strategic plan and Northington Close, which I inherited about 10 of their teachers. And we wanted to merge both faculties and give them an opportunity to jail and work together. It, it gets us to collaborate with one another, to, to get to know the different personalities, and begin to and, and work able to work together as a team in the team building process because in a building, the teamwork makes the dream work. I hope they understand that together everyone achieves more and so we basically want to develop a team mindset and just allow that to be our motto for this year, together everyone achieves more. We are one part to a much bigger puzzle and we want to make sure that we take care of the community around us. It's a really good opportunity for us all to get to work with people that we don't normally get to be with and um, get to know each other in a fun interactive way and experience learning through doing which is what we expect our kids to have access to daily. And those teachers weren't the only ones who were participating in team building this summer. TCS central office administrators and principals competed against each other in a host of activities. same group also proved that big tasks are made easier with teamwork. When we come back, we'll show you how the community is digging deep to help our students be successful. It's next on Inside Tuscaloosa City Schools. Stay tuned. Keep up with the latest Tuscaloosa City Schools news. Check out exciting photos and informative videos by liking the Tuscaloosa City Schools on Facebook. Log on to facebook.com slash TCS Board of Ed for the latest in City Schools news. We would love your help as a Junior Achievement Volunteer. If you love children and you don't mind learning lessons to present, you're qualified. We will provide all of the training that you need and all of the materials. It's no cost to you other than your time. If you're interested in learning more about the program, the training takes about 45 minutes. Uh, you can contact me, Carla Harris, at carla.harris at ja.org, or you can reach me by phone at 205-391-0335. We would love to have your help. Teachers across Tuscaloosa are preparing the next generation of leaders and their efforts are made easier with your support. 
From the classroom to the community to the playing field, see how city school students are making an impact. Watch Inside Tuscaloosa City Schools Monday through Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. and Thursday and Friday at 6.30 p.m. on Comcast Channel 20 and UVerse Channel 99. For up-to-the-minute notices on important Tuscaloosa City Schools happenings, follow us on Twitter at TCS Board of Ed. The mission of the Tuscaloosa City Schools is to create and support, to create and support a culture of high expectations. High expectations. High expectations. High expectations. This high. For each and every student. Each and every student. All of us. Every student. All of us. Even me. To achieve personal, academic, and career. Career excellence. We want to be a premier. Premier! Premier. Premier. What's premier? That means the best. Premier and innovative. School system. Where each and every student graduates. Every student. Every student. Every student. Graduates. 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 Graduate. Where each and every student graduates. 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 Where every student graduates. Graduates. Every student graduates. 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 Graduates and is fully prepared. Fully prepared. Fully prepared. Fully prepared. Fully prepared for life and career success. Life and career success. TCS. Equity, engagement, excellence. Welcome back. At the annual Literacy Summit, Tuscaloosa City Schools kicked off a campaign and also received a generous donation from a group who is stepping up to help students succeed. The Rotary Club of Tuscaloosa made a presentation to the Tuscaloosa City Schools to continue a program that has proven to pay huge dividends to students at an area school. Well, the Rotary Club of Tuscaloosa celebrated its 100th year in Tuscaloosa uh, last year. We were looking for a project that uh, would not only mean giving some money in a significant manner, but also involve some of our Rotarians in that project. And of course, you always think about brick and mortar projects. You think about putting the rotary name on a building or a, or a room somewhere. And we decided that that's not really what we wanted to do. We wanted to impact lives. And so today we presented a $100,000 check to our first grade reading initiative uh, and that also involves not only the money, but Rotarians working with the uh, children at Martin Luther King Elementary. There were breakout sessions focusing on what TCS is doing to increase literacy of students. Director of Special Programs Andrew Maxey says the sessions show the community how they are a part of this process. Uh, so we have, we have a variety of sessions this morning. Uh, for example, the librarians are presenting about the role that libraries play in uh, developing strong readers in a school. Uh, that One of our community partners that have uh, been uh, coordinating reading buddies are sharing about that specific program. And we have other folks, uh, Mayon for example, is giving some uh, great information just about what does family literacy look like. So again, a lot of different uh, takes on the complex issue of literacy and just deepening our understanding of that topic and then also the role that different individuals can play in making this a strength in our community. The summit was also an appropriate time to kick off a program to update collections of school libraries. Very proud to announce that the Tuscaloosa City Schools campaign for school libraries is launching today. It is called Strong Library, Strong Schools and we are seeking to make each uh, library in the city of Tuscaloosa uh, reach the exemplary level. Um, 
because of a lack of funding over the last 10 years, most library collections are far below what they should be. But uh, we are committed to making them what they should be, and we are inviting our community to join us in that work. Tuscaloosa cares about its schools, and there's a way that the community can help make it even better. Well, it's fantastic to be part of a community that believes so much in the mission of making literacy central to the work we do as a school system and as a community. If you visit TuscaloosaCitySchools.com forward slash libraries, you can find more information about the campaign and uh, connect to an online giving portal as well. And people in the community aren't wasting any time contributing to the Strong Library, Strong Schools program. A recent donation of $5,000 by a Tuscaloosa resident will mean that students at Martin Luther King Jr. Elementary School will have more books and materials to choose from in their library. Uh, so we're very excited uh, to announce that a, a member of the community has made an incredibly uh, generous donation of $5,000 to the MLK Library. Uh, we're very thankful uh, for this contribution. Um, it's significant for this library uh, because in our efforts to serve students who uh, need additional help becoming proficient readers, the availability of a great collection, the availability of diverse texts, and the av availability of high interest texts is very important. So generosity like this is amazing. It's, it's very encouraging to the faculty and, uh, of, of the school and, and to those of us who are promoting this goal system line. I am very excited. Um, one of the things we say at, at MLK is that our community is the strength of our school and this donation shows that our community is, is much wider and broader than we thought it was. We have support from around Tuscaloosa and this type of support uh, will have a positive direct impact on the lives of our students and we're so appreciative that this uh, community member just stepped up uh, I saw the need and, and without hesitation uh, stepped in and, and did her part to fulfill that need. We have our wish list that supports uh, our initiative and the systems initiative to have all of our students reading um, on grade level by third grade and like I said this is, this is just an important part. Uh, one, of the, one of the bricks in this particular wall uh, where we surround our students with all the resources and the skills they need to be successful reading. This summer, University of Alabama Director of Athletics Greg Byrne visited with school administrators to share his story and show his appreciation for the important work that they do. I was invited here today to talk to the city school administrators and just wanted an opportunity to say thank you for what they do and the impact that they make on young lives on a daily basis. And, and sometimes uh, they probably don't hear thank you enough and they don't t hear that they're appreciated, them and the teachers as well. So be here to get a chance to say thank you for what they do. Uh, really meant a lot to be invited to, to be here and be a part of that. I just hope that we can encourage and, and say, hey, we're not perfect, we're gonna make mistakes. We understand uh, that you're trying to do the right thing on a daily basis. And, and, and so, you know, those challenges that come along, I've got some of those in what I do as well, and I just want to take an opportunity to, to encourage and, and tell them thank you for what they do. We depend on the community here for the successes that we have, and Tuscaloosa, the state of Alabama, uh, our university, there's nobody that does a better job in the country of, of being united in what takes place to support our athletic department. And so it's important that you're out there in the community and, and telling them thank you for what they do. On top of that, you know, in a time where a lot of things are divided, um, we're one of the things that bring people together with all different backgrounds and, and, uh, and that should be celebrated. And, and so to be in front of uh, educational leaders like this and uh, remind them of the value that comes along with athletics as well and other things that the community offers, but specifically with me, athletics, um, what a difference they make in making us be as strong as we possibly can. There were smiling faces everywhere as TCS welcomed employees back for the start of the new school year at Institute Day. Check out highlights from the big event.
CCS Institute, employees were treated to a TED Talk style presentation where six of their co-workers focused on one aspect of the TCS graduate, which includes communicator, technologically advanced, innovator, leader, global citizen, and work ready. We're going back to back with these segments. As educators, we strive to ensure that our students are able to communicate educationally, socially, and with empathy. We should present them with opportunities to do so. Do we allow time for practice by allowing them to present in class, school assemblies, welcoming others into their buildings, or even reading the daily announcements? Are we allowing them space to actually lead in our schools and explain their thoughts and ideas to not only their peers, but adults alike? Do we model what empathy looks like and how it translates into action? And this year, we get to start a new chapter at Northridge Middle School with Chromebooks and a billion possibilities tucked into our students' arms. My own understandings of technology stem from a connection to the Tuscaloosa City Schools that has spanned my entire life thus far. And as a TCS educator, the question I pose for us all today is what's next? We're told that the first humans to set foot on another planet have already been born. What if some of those explorers are walking into our classrooms in a few days? Are we igniting their curiosity? Are we providing space for them to ask their weird and wonderful questions? Are we giving them opportunities to make and to make mistakes? But the cool thing for me is while I wanted to create this opportunity for our students to be able to give back, they're wanting to continue to fan this flame of student leadership. And so my small idea of being able to create this program has turned into a student-led idea where they want to carry on leadership with their actions and their ideas. And really, this is what it's all about. The Tuscaloosa City School System wants to be able to produce graduates who are communicators and leaders and global citizens who are work-ready and technologically advanced, but they also want to be able to create within each student the innovator the one who's able to seek out and be able to identify issues that are unique and then seeks to find the best possible way to a solution. I'm more than just a guy with this blue shirt on and these khaki pants. Every single day that I get on that bus, I am leading a group of young people. They are watching my life. I, I can't take that for granted for one second. Um, and it's very easy to do that. Sometimes we think, well, it's just another job. For some of us, it's a part-time job. And uh, I know that uh, Ron has to deal with it all the time, you know. But I'm telling you something, it's more than that. We are people that are leading our kids, our young people, and the future is right there behind us every single day. John Maxwell said this. He said, a true measure of leadership is influence. It's nothing more and it's nothing less. Every one of us are impacting children. Every single day, whether we're doing it intentionally or unintentionally. You're, you're making a difference in their lives. Now, what are we doing to further this in Jero, TC? Well, I can't send my kids to Hong Kong, obviously, but I do try to get them out of Tuscaloosa as often as possible. All right? So we send them to leadership camps across the country where they can work and collaborate and interact with their peers who are not from the same culture as them, are not from the same area as them, have different ideas, different belief systems, and everything else. So that is great for them to be able to do that. And they bring those ideas back to us, and it makes our unit better as well. We also have a heavy focus on civics within our JRTC curriculum because the, our students need to understand that the wisdom behind our political and economic system that the Founding Fathers put into it, there's good reasons behind that. And there's a reason that we have held up for so long and been so successful in what we do so that they can carry that forward. Can I tell you, Jacoby, who came in with goals of going to two fast food restaurants and working 20 hours in each one to be full, is now making over $45,000 at the age of 19. 
You can't tell me education can't change a life. And as I get ready to go to my seat, I want to tell you, don't mess up like I did. Don't forget that you're an educator. You know what educators do? We have the power to change lives. And my challenge to you this year is don't forget who you really are. Can we end this thing like we are in church? Look at your neighbor and say, do you know who I am? I'm an educator, baby. That means I change lives. Check out when and who the Central Falcons, Northridge Jaguars, and Paul W. Bryant Stampede will be tangling with on the gridiron this fall. Thank you for watching this show and supporting the Tuscaloosa City Schools. We strive to communicate news and information to our community. Please visit our website at www.tuscaloosacityschools.com and connect with us on social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at TCS Board of Ed. If you have questions or comments for the school system, please contact us at www.tuscaloosacityschools.com slash let's talk. We'll see you next time.